Here we are again at Wine Cask in downtown Santa Barbara in the beautiful El Paseo Complex Courtyard. I'm joined again by Crystal Clifton to talk today about the Brewer Clifton winery lineup here at the month of August. We just finished shooting, as you recognized earlier in the video, at Palmina's Tasting Room in Lompoc, where we tried some fabulous Italian varietals locally grown and produced here by Palmina. And the second lineup we have for you is the Brewer Clifton lineup. Greg Brewer and Steve and Crystal Clifton. A couple of great friends for many, many years now and we're really honored to have them in the Winecast Tasting Room this month. So Crystal, tell us a little bit about Santa Rita Hills because I know they're exclusively from our new appellation, Santa Rita Hills, and the two Chardonnay and Pinot Noir we're going to be pouring. Absolutely. Um, Brewer Clifton's a really unique collaboration between two winemakers, Steve Clifton, my husband, and Greg Brewer. Uh, Greg's also the winemaker at Melville Winery and has his own project, Diatom. Those have also been featured here at Wine Cask. What's so incredibly unique about Greg and Steve is they have come together with the pure passion of producing exclusive Pinot Noir and Chardonnay from Santa Rita Hills. Now, Santa Rita Hills wasn't even an appellation when they decided to do this. So Santa Rita Hills is an incredibly tiny appellation, not even eight miles radius. So I think it's seven by three miles total. It's on the ocean side of the 101 between Lompoc and Buellton. Correct. And between all the beautiful mixtures of soil types from diatomaceous earth to limestone, you get some incredible places to plant vineyards plus the ocean influence. And that region is one of the coldest growing regions in California. So the extreme growing conditions allow for pristine, really beautifully balanced Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs. Like these four here. Like these. So what do we have exactly? So what we have is a Pinot and Chard from Santa Rita Hills, the Appalachian wines. As Greg and Steve began the project in 96, they began working with individual vineyard sites. What they realized as they began focusing exclusively within Santa Rita Hills, they needed to also have kind of a calling card, an explanation of why they decided on Santa Rita Hills. So the Appalachian wines began uh, with the 2006 vintage. Those are a beautiful balance bringing six to seven different vineyards from around the, the Appalachian together to showcase just overall what you can find as characteristics in Appalachian. Yeah, these have been great for pouring by the glass too. With food, they're yeah. incredible because we do with the Chardonnays pick a little bit leaner and have the natural acidity, right. they're great. And then Pinot Noir being whole cluster has that beautiful elegance, that earthiness. So That's I can, fantastic. I can and see then that. you've got the vineyard designate Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel is a very unique situation as we came more and more familiar with Santa Rita Hills and working with individual vineyards in the exact same formula, meaning that everything's handled identically. Right. Greg and Steve realized that they needed to create a situation to also farm. So we created a farming team and in 2005 we took over the Mount Carmel Vineyard. It's exclusively farmed for Burr Clifton. It's like a chef who grows his own vegetables. They it's just take difference. better care and love them. Absolutely. Right. And you know the product from the grape to the glass. So it's a very unique experience. And now we've expanded the Burr Clifton line up to have multiple situations yeah. like that. And what's with the logo on the front? Well, the logo you can come and see. It's from the wine cask ceiling. So yes, indeed. The wine cask has definitely been a place where we kind of have all been uh, greeted before in the past. That's where Greg and Steve kind of hatched the idea of Burr Clifton. So. Uh, fantastic. Full circle, as they say. Yes. Well, I hope you can join us at Wine Cask Tasting Room the next two Thursdays, August 5th and August 12th from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. We'll have some great flatbreads out, complimentary, to have with wonderful tastings of Palmina and Brewer Clifton wines. Thanks very much for logging on to winecask.com. Thank you, Crystal, again for joining us. Thanks, Mitchell. And we'll see you soon.